extraterrestrials, aliens, ETs, little green men. Do you believe in them? Well, what if I told you that I recently changed my stance on the whole thing? And after this video, you likely will too. I mean, really, how can we be the only ones in the universe? Isn't that a little bit like narcissistic or perhaps even egocentric or self-centered? Well, you get the idea. Well, consider how much trouble was had when Copernicus proposed that the sun is the center of the solar system, not the earth. Heliocentric rather than earth or geocentric. Well, that same type of mentality still exists, unfortunately. Hi, my name is Lori. I'm your positivity princess, and I'm here spreading love and positivity every day and in every way. Now, if you are intrigued by the concept of UFOs, extraterrestrials, and all things outer space, click that like button. If you have recently discovered things like Arcturians, light work, and true spiritual nature of humans, click that subscribe button. And if you're excited to learn more about all of this stuff, click that bell notification so you do not miss the next video. I'm so excited. So let's enough with this. Let's get started. Okay, so my eyes have been opened even wider than they were before with regard to so many concepts. Things are changing fast. Elon Musk is one of the biggest and most recognized free thinkers of our time. Elon Musk recently said in an interview that he always looks at the world problems and their potential solutions using something called the first principle. So to start from the first principle in this situation, we ask, what do we know for sure? What do we know for sure about life beyond Earth? Well, we know that all things are made up of energy, energy that vibrates at certain frequencies. We know this. We know that all things are connected through divine oneness. We know also that our thoughts and feelings and actions have an effect on people, places, and things around us. That's the law, you know, those are laws of the universe. We are all part of one large consciousness. We know that people have found evidence of life on other planets. We also know that there are 40 billion planets in the Milky Way alone. Proxima Centauri, the closest star to us, has one observable planet, Proxima Centauri b. In the film Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, the creator Dr. Greer has pointed out that the way to have contact with ETs, with extraterrestrials, is through a form of meditation that anyone can do. Here's a short clip that summarizes the film. Since 1990, a network of free thinkers and renegades have been bypassing the national security state to make direct contact with advanced extraterrestrial civilizations. Using the Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind Protocols, or CE5, developed by Dr. Greer, this has proven to be the most subversive and dangerous information he has released to the public. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For thousands of people, contact has begun. Authorities through time have not wanted people to access the CE5 method and the rhetoric has been created to try to create a sense of fear of any and all potential ETs. They want us to be afraid. This has been created as a way of controlling people and using fear to create dependency on the political authority. I don't wanna to get too political here, but this world unity could be seen as a good thing, but who would be leading us? Who would be leading the United Front? Hmm. Dr. Greer talks of five kinds of levels of potential encounters with ETs in the film. Encounters of the first kind are visual sightings of UFOs or alien artifacts. Encounters of the second kind are witnessing a physical trace like crop circles. Encounters of the third kind are things like witnessing uh, the pilots or participants from an alien craft. Encounters of the fourth kind are human being being brought aboard an alien craft, which is huge. And encounters of a fifth kind are proactive human initiated communications with ETs. So human initiated conversations and reaching out to ETs in a communicative way. The method you ask for reaching and contacting and communicating with ETs is this method called CE5 protocol. 
In my next video, I will actually teach you how to do that. I will go through the steps. I just want to remind you as a quick disclaimer, my videos and my entire niche is about positivity, the law of attraction and all things happy and good. This topic actually does fit. Reaching beings of a higher consciousness requires effort, mind, heart, coherence, and love. You will see how it all makes sense and how it's all really deeply connected. What is the CE5 method, you ask? Essentially, the method is a way of using emotions, intention, and heart-mind coherence to transcend our human form, to find oneself ascending to other worlds. This happens when a person decides that he or she wants to connect with Arturians, maybe, or other ETs out there, and then he or she goes into a meditative state. Again, I will go more into this with a step-by-step -step video, okay? It's gonna be coming up very soon. Okay, again, the video I'm talking about here is called Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, and it's available for downloading and viewing on an app called Tubi, okay? I put a link below. It features Dr. Stephen Greer and his immense amount of research and practice with the existence of ETs and how to contact them directly. So please leave a comment about any of your experiences with ETs. Maybe any questions that you have, anything you've always wondered about. Maybe you just don't believe any of it and just let me know why. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Have the best day ever and A, B positive. Mwah.